From the studios at WBONTV.com, here is what's happening. Former Esther County Girls High School soccer coach Andrew Hatton was sentenced Tuesday to two years behind bars on multiple sex charges, including rape. The judge spoke out against the leniency of the sentence, but still decided to honor the deal between Andrew Hatton and the prosecutor. Hatton was associated with the girls' soccer team for about five years, first as an assistant coach and then as head coach. A Winchester man is behind bars following his arrest stemming from charges of assault and terroristic threatening. Marissa Hempel is following the story and files this report. According to Richmond Police, 50-year-old Jerry Combs is responsible for assaulting the victim twice within the past 30 days. This reported assault led to severe bruising and pain of the victim, prompting a visit to the Richmond Hospital. Hospital officials declared that the victim had suffered three cracked vertebrae and a bruised kidney. When officers attempted to detain him for questioning, Combs allegedly locked himself in a bedroom for over an hour before finally exiting the residence. He is now charged with second-degree assault and third-degree terroristic threatening. I'm Marissa Hempel. The public is invited to join the National Wreaths Across America Day by laying wreaths on the graves at Camp Nelson National Cemetery Saturday, December 14th. Wreaths Across America hopes to lay more than 10,500 live evergreen wreaths on graves. Volunteers are encouraged to arrive by 11 a.m. The cemetery is located at 6980 Danville Road in Nicholasville. Wreaths Across America was founded so the courage and sacrifice of our military veterans would never be forgotten. For more stories like these, tune to WBONTV.com. I'm Ron Likens.